So for number two here, given the exact value of the sine of C in this form here, find the exact value of the cosine of C and the sine of 2C. Well, to find the exact value of the cosine, you could use that identity. Sine squared C plus cos squared C should come to 1, and then substitute in and rearrange it. Cos C is square root of 1 minus sine squared C, etc. Doing it algebraically, however, it's much simpler and much more convenient just to think of it geometrically. What would this triangle have looked like that contained the angle C? Well, if the sine of this angle was 1 upon root 3, that means the side opposite to C would have been 1, and the hypotenuse would have been root 3. And then a simple bit of Pythagoras, which is what the method is anyway, takes you to this side. That's the shorter side, so it'll be the difference in the squares. The square of that root takes you back to 3. The square of 1 is 1, so that would be 2. So here you've got root 2. And then straightforwardly, if I want the cosine, it's the adjacent to the angle, root 2 over the root 3. So the cosine would be root 2 upon root 3. Or if you have a preference, just make it the one big square root of 2 thirds. Now, for the sine of double the angle, that doesn't mean you just do two times that. No, there's an expansion for this. And thankfully, the sine 2c1 is fairly simple because there's only one of them. Sine 2c expands to 2 sine c cos c. No decisions to be made. And I know both of these already. I've got two times the sine of c was 1 upon root 3. The cosine of c, I think I'll use this form here, is root 2 upon root 3 because it's got the numerator and denominator separated. Then, the numerator is going to be 2 times root 2, and for the denominator, it'll just be root 3 times root 3, which just puts you back to 3 again. So there it is. The sine of 2c is 2 root 2 upon 3. There.